In this video I'll be doing a range test and comparison of the Motorola DTR2450 which is a 2.4 GHz 100 mW digital two-way radio. I'll be comparing it to a PMR446 radio. PMR446 is a license free band in Europe that allows up to 500 milliwatts of power to be used and operates on 446 megahertz. Since the power output is much higher and the frequency is much lower, you'd typically expect the PMR446 radio to have a much greater range than the 2.4 gigahertz radios, but that remains to be seen in the test. I'll be going out with one of each radio and leaving the other here in front of a camera to record the audio. The DTR radios do have a presence check functionality that lets you talk only when you're in range. I'll give you a quick demonstration of that. If I transmit on this radio, it fails because I've got the other radio turned off. But if I turn the other radio on and just set it down there and try to transmit again, then it should work. And as you see, it now lets me transmit. Keep in mind that I will be using this feature to help me find good spots to transmit from when I'm out doing the range tests. Anyway, with that, let's get started. Range test from location one, uh, 245 meters away. Location one. Range test from location one, 245 meters away. Location one. Range test location two, 391 meters. Range test location two, 391 meters. Range test from location three. Range test from location three. And the distance is 704 meters. The signal is marginal from this location. Range test from location 4, 860 meters. Location 4, 860 meters. I'm only just about able to get in from this location. So I'm not sure how the received audio will be, whether it will be broken up. Um, but I'll try it on the other radio now. Range test from location 4, 860 meters. Location 4. The other radio was struggling to uh, start the transmission at this point. Um, so we'll see how this one does. I'm expecting it will do a bit better because it's lower in frequency. Uh, but we'll see. So this is location 4, 860 meters away. Range test from location 5, 1044 meters away. Location 5, 1044 meters away. <laughs> Range test from location 5, 1044 meters away. Location 5, 1044 meters away. Range test from location 6, and I'm walking while talking this time, so the signal might go up and down a bit. Um, this is, uh, let me just look. This is 726 meters away. And let's try on the other radio. Range test from location 6, 726 meters away. I'll walk along a bit to make the test fair, so I'm doing the same with both radios. So this is location 6, 726 meters. So the DTR2450 s actually did a lot better than I expected. I was expecting range only a bit better than Wi-Fi, but they did considerably better than that. 
Terrain is extremely important when using radios with such a high frequency because the signal really doesn't get through hills at all. In this test, the locations were nearly all line of sight, with some objects in the way, like houses and trees. But if you took away the houses and trees, you probably would have been able to see from one radio to the other. Just keep that in mind. These radios won't work through a hill, and they'll struggle to work through too many buildings, trees or other obstructions. Nevertheless, they did better than I expected, and coverage would be adequate for a lot of use cases. It's been good fun playing with these radios and seeing the characteristics of a band of the electromagnetic spectrum I don't normally get to play with. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.